I'm all for this Western style justice. <laughs> Yeah, I prefer this over cancel culture any day. You done wronged my woman. Let's take this outside, shall we? Slap pistols at ten paces. We'll settle this like gentlemen. <laughs> Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to Shadyology. <laughs> Hello there, you two bitches. I, your unfriendly neighborhood Skeletor. <laughs> now, today my friends, I'm going to talk about something that has gone absolutely viral in the last couple of days. Everyone on the internet is talking about it. So, why not me, right? And of course I'm referring to Will Smith and the whole Oscar fiasco. <laughs> <laughs> no, at first I wasn't sure I was going to do this. When I first heard about it, I was bored. I'm like, oh no, another humiliating thing happened in Hollywood? Boring. <laughs> Been there, done that. But of course, seeing all the traction it got, how could I, Skeletor, remain silent on this? Now from what I know, someone told a joke, someone got insulted, and someone got slapped. <laughs> all things that I, Skeletor, like, you know, total chaos. <laughs> so, that's why I desperately wanted to sink my teeth into this. Dissect it. See what was up. See what's the 411. Anyway, without further ado, let's watch this thing, shall we? <laughs> Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. Alright? <laughs> that was it? That was the insult? G.I. Jane joke? To be honest, I'm more offended that the joke was just so horrible. I mean, that's the best you got? Chris Rock? G.I. Jane joke? An early 90s reference that most of the audience doesn't even understand? I mean, if you're going to go down, don't go down on a horrible joke like that. <laughs> Will Smith seems to be enjoying the joke, however. Either that or that's just a bunch of nervous laughter. It's, that, was a, that was a nice one, okay. That was a nice one. No, it was a horrible one. It wasn't funny. I don't care about the slap. I just care about that he got slapped over a horrible joke. Not worth the slap, I'd say. <laughs> I'm out here. Uh-oh, Richard. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> Look at him. He got slapped right in the face. <laughs> Chris Rock, though, took that shot like a chap, though. <laughs> oh, wow. Lucky that wasn't he, man. <laughs> wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. That he did. That he did. <laughs> Get my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Well, there's nothing awkward about this at all. <laughs> wow, dude. Yes. It was a G.I. Jane joke. He Yes, it was a G.I. Jane joke. Horrible. Bad joke. Not even worth you yelling about, to be honest. A wife's name out your fucking mouth! He got louder, in case we didn't hear him. <laughs> Please, this guy needs a mic. Get Will Smith a mic. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. <laughs> Look at this awkward face. <laughs> He's thinking, what do I do now? <laughs> That was the uh, greatest night in the history of television. <laughs> not even close, my friend. <laughs> well, by chaos standards, sure, why not? <laughs> so that's it? That's what all the fuss was about? Someone getting upset about a joke that wasn't even funny? Will Smith, let's be honest, if you really wanted to hurt a comedian, you don't hurt him with a slap. You hurt him by saying, I would slap you, but that joke wasn't funny or worth my slap. Nothing hurts a comedian more then you telling him his joke sucked, and his joke did suck. Think that's the biggest crime of it all. <laughs> now there's a lot of arguing back and forth online about whether Will Smith was right to do what he did or whether he was out of line. Sure, the joke was a poorly crafted, inappropriate joke picking on someone's physical condition, especially in 2022, a definite faux pas. <laughs> but what do I think? What do I think about this whole situation? Well, let me warn you all. I am an evil villain. I'm a purveyor of chaos. And this, my friends, is chaos in its purest form. And I love it. I love every minute of it. I like that he went up there and smacked him. I think he didn't go far enough. Will Smith still thinks he's in the wild, wild west. Looks like we need to teach you all a little lesson about how to behave in polite society. <laughs> I like that. You know, I wish he had put on a sheriff badge and said, Y'all done insulted my woman. 
See, while well, people thought that he was smacking Chris Rock, no, that's what gentlemen do when they challenge you to a duel. <laughs> he went up there and challenged Chris Rock to a duel. Pistols at 10 paces at high noon. <laughs> There's nothing more gentlemanly and manly than that. But like I said, I don't think this went far enough. I think Hollywood needs more slaps, to be honest. Just maybe... I would have loved to have seen this whole auditorium break out into a baseball-style brawl. Everyone just piles out of the dugout. <laughs> Run to the stage and start beating the crap out of each other. You probably think I'm finished, huh? Why not? Would have been far more entertaining than what the Oscars were, that's for sure. Then why stop here? Hollywood's been dull and boring for so long. I would like to see more slapping in Hollywood, to be honest. But Whoopi Goldberg said some inappropriate stuff on The View. There's a slap for you! Don't cancel them! I would have loved to see the girls on The View slap the crap out of each other. Jimmy Kimmel opens his mouth. Slap, slap, slap! Give him a slap as well. <laughs> One day I want to wake up and see Hollywood is unconscious due to too many slaps. Oh, I'm going slap happy! Hollywood just got slapped to death. I'm going slap, slap happy! <laughs> I would have done the same thing if I was Will Smith. Well, not really, because I don't care what happens to Eva Lynn. Number one, she can protect herself. And number two, she also went through alopecia. And she's also grayed at a young age, too, so she had a double whammy. And I still wouldn't have protected her. Because <laughs> she doesn't deserve it. From what I can gather, both Eva Lane and Jada have things in common. <laughs> but you know, I'm one of those people who like to see chaos. I was one of those rooting Kanye West on during the Grammys when he grabbed the mic from Taylor Swift. I I'm really happy for you. I'll let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. Yeah, there you go. Here's a little reach around the back of the head slap. See, this is what Hollywood really is. Why are they pretending? They like to polish a turn, but deep down inside, they're all stinky, crappy people. And once in a while, just once in a while, the polish wears off and you can see them for what they really are. And this is one of those prime examples. And I love to see it because this is the truth of what Hollywood really is. I mean, wasn't it Chris Rock's comedy that said he likes to keep it real? Keep it real! Well, Will Smith kept it real. <laughs> real dumb! <laughs> so in conclusion, I Skeletor say, I'm all for this Western-style justice. <laughs> I prefer this over cancel culture any day. You done wronged my woman. Let's take this outside, shall we? Slap pistols at ten paces. We'll settle this like gentlemen. <laughs> but that's just what I think. And keep in mind, I am an evil villain. <laughs> what do you all think? Who do you think was in the right? Who do you think was in the wrong? Are you like me? Do you want to see everyone in Hollywood smack the crap out of each other till they're all unconscious? Slappity slapping, you teaching you a lesson. <laughs> Maybe it would slap some sense into them once and for all, but I doubt it. Speaking of Hollywood nonsense, to those of you wondering when I'm going to put my next video up, I Skeletor have been working on something kind of different. You see, I Skeletor have been wanting to do this video for quite some time, but having a hard time fitting it in the schedule. I decided once and for all, let's just do it. So, my next video hopefully will be up by next week, early next week, maybe late this week if all goes well. I'm doing a new series where I pick apart the reason for why Hollywood is obsessed with reruns, reboots, and remakes from the 1980s and why they keep failing. This is going to be more of a essay style video, more along the lines of my top five videos, which I did sometime last year. You can check those out. But this is going to be a continuous series that I'm going to do. I put a lot of work into it, so you all better I like it. <laughs> or I'll will sniff you all. Just kidding. <laughs> I got magic. I don't need to use my hands. But it won't get to that. I'm sure. <laughs> anyway, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to Shaneology. Until next time.